Master, give the blessing. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace run high in the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, the well-being of the holy churches of God, in the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Our Bishop Nicholas, the Honorable Presbyter, the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the civil authorities, for the government and the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, place in the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the travelers by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, for those in captivity, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Come, thus save us, have mercy us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Let us remember our all-holy, spotless, most highly blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints. And let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ God. To you, o Lord. For all glory, honor, and worship are your due, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Clap your hands, all ye nations, shout unto God with a voice of rejoicing. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. For the Lord Most High is terrible, a great King over all the earth. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. He hath subdued peoples under us and nations under our feet. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. God is gone up in jubilation, the Lord with the voice of the trumpet. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Let us remember our all holy, spotless, most highly blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. And let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ God. And yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. O Son of God, who
mountains of Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. O Son of God, who ascended in glory to heaven, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. God is known in her towers when he cometh to help her. O Son of God, who kings of the earth were assembled, they came together. O Son of God, who ascended in glory to heaven, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, immortal as you are, you condescended for our salvation to be of my heart shall be of understanding. You ascended in glory, O Christ our God, and gladdened your disciples by the promise of the Holy Spirit. Through your blessing they were confirmed in their belief that you are Son of God, the Redeemer of the world. I will incline my ear unto a parable. I will unfold my problem on the psaltery. You ascended in glory, O Christ our God, and gladdened your disciples by the promise of the Holy Spirit. Through
ascended in glory, O Christ our God, and gladden your disciples by the promise of the Holy Spirit. Through your blessing they were confirmed in their belief that you are the Son of God, the Redeemer of the world. You ascended in glory, O Christ our God, and gladdened your disciples by the promise of the Holy Spirit. Through your blessing they were confirmed in their belief that you are the Son of God, the Redeemer of the world. You ascended in glory, O Christ our God, and gladdened your disciples by the promise of the Holy Spirit. Through your blessing they were confirmed in their belief that you are the Son of God, the Redeemer of the world. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. After fulfilling for us your plan of redemption, and joining the things of earth with those of heaven. You gloriously ascended, O Christ our God, without abandoning us, but remained with us forever, and proclaim to those who love you, Behold, I am with you, no one has power against you. Ooh. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are holy, O oh our God, and we render glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Oh God, be exalted above.
among the heavens and your glory over all the earth. O God, my heart is ready. O God, be exalted among the heavens and your glory over all the earth. O God, be exalted above the heavens and your glory above all the earth. Wisdom. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us attend. In the first book, O Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up, after he had given commandment through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. To them he presented himself alive after his passion by many proofs, appearing to them during forty days, and speaking of the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he charged them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which, he said, you heard from me, for John baptized with water, but before many days you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. And when he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Then they returned from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. Peace to you. disciples and said to them, Peace be to you. But they were startled and frightened, supposing that they had seen a spirit. He said to them, Why are you troubled? Why do you doubts arise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet, that it is truly me. Touch me and see. A spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see that I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they still did not believe for joy and were perplexed, he said to them, Do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of a broiled fish and a honeycomb from a beehive. He took them and ate in front of them, and he said to them, This is what I told you while I was still with you, 
that everything written in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms concerning me must be fulfilled. He opened their minds so that they might understand the scriptures. He said to them, This is what is written, that it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of these things. Behold, I send the promise of my Father on you. But wait in the city of Jerusalem until you are clothed with power from on high. He led them out as far as Bethany, lifted up his hands and blessed them. It happened that while he was blessing them, that he withdrew from them and was carried up to heaven. They worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually in the temple, praising and blessing God. Amen. This feast is a strange mixture of sadness and joy, a tinge of sadness because in a sense we are letting go of the Paschal season, but a sense of joy at the approach of the coming of the Holy Spirit. The Gospel relates the Paschal appearance of the Lord to his disciples. They are locked up, panic-stricken, and afraid that they are seeing a ghost rejoicing seem so far away. And Christ comes in their midst through the locked doors as he passed through the locked womb of the Virgin, as he passed through the sealed stone of the tomb. And he comes to them and he asks them, do you have something here to eat to manifest the reality of his resurrection? So he partakes of fish and honey. The fish is the ancient symbol of Christ and of the Eucharist. In the mystical supper icon over our head, for example, it's a fish that is the centerpiece of the table. No lamb, but a fish, Christ himself. In the post-resurrection appearance to the disciples by the Sea of Galilee, the Lord prepares for them to eat a breakfast of broiled fish. St. Augustine, in one of his classical little rhyming phrases, sees the fish on the coal fire as an image of the passion. He uses the phrase, Pisces asus, Christus passus. As the fish is roasted, so Christ suffered. The honeycomb, on the other hand, is an image of the resurrection. Christ brings us by his passion, death, and resurrection into the promised land of paradise, the land flowing with milk and honey, as the scriptures say. And in some places in the ancient church, it was customary that at the liturgy of baptism on Pascha, the newly baptized would come up and receive the holy bread, drink from the chalice of sanctified wine, and then drink from a cup of milk and honey mixed together, the sign that they had now entered the promised land. Christ stays with the disciples for 40 days and then leaves. The sorrow was written so that the repentance and forgiveness might be preached. But further than that, it seems that we could have read the gospel first and then the reading 
that we did first from the Acts of the Apostles second, because the Apostle reading tells the story, more literally, of the Ascension. And two things happen at the Ascension. In the person of Jesus Christ, humanity now sits at the right hand of the Father on the throne of divinity. And the second is there, there is a promise of completion, and that promise itself is twofold. Completion in the sense of sending down the Holy Spirit, and completion in a sense of the second coming. For the ascension is an icon of the second coming of the Lord. The two angels stand on the Mount of Olives and they turn to the disciples and what do they say? Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up to heaven? He will come again as you have seen him go. He will come again. So in this sadness, and indeed in all sadness, is the promise of joy. But not only its promise, but its eventual coming to fulfillment. To Christ Jesus, who sends the Spirit from the Father to us, be glory unto all ages. Amen.
benefactors of this holy church, for the members of our families, those who meet to us have in mind, for the presbyters Ephraim, Elias, and Sean, the proto deacon David, the deacons David and Joseph, the sub deacons Frank, Hanson, Riley, Peter, Mikhail, the Reyes, Macarius, Christopher, Kevin, Cyril, Furman, Stephen, and Eric, the seminary, and Joseph, for those affected by the Texas massacre. For the Michael Hajar, who offers the holy wine, Georgiana Hosbeck, the Spalding family, Raymond Hassan, James Metzger, Rita Malone, Paulette Shalhu, Doris Sears, Gabe and Natalia Santiago, Roger and Elizabeth Ashley, Nicholas and Ruth Paulus, Bridget and John, and Catherine and Claire Paulus, Kristen Bird, Irene Stars, Mary Solacine, Brown, Mary Marie, Jennifer James, Kayla, Jesse, Elsa, Paul, that the Lord God may grant them health, salvation, forgiveness, remission of all their sins, that the Lord our God may remember them in his kingdom. Amen. For the servants of God, the parishioners and benefactors of this holy church, for the members of our families, those whom each of us have in mind, departed this life in the hope of the resurrection, the Archimandrites, Joseph, Charles, and Constantine, the Archpriest, Armand, the Protodeacon, Paul, the Hierodeacon, Malachi, the Deacon, Nicholas, the Reader, Romanos, Anne Gallagher, Kenan Sa, Elizabeth and Elsie, Ashu, George Tabish, Remus Maha, Scott Johnson, George Polis, Edward and Ruth Polis, Nicholas Polis, Khalil Joaquin, Bernadette Witty, Lynn Jabara, Gladys Conakry, Linda Wilson, for the victims of the school shooting, that the Lord God may grant their souls to rest where the just repose, that the Lord our God may remember them in his kingdom. Amen. That the Lord our God may remember us all in his kingdom at all times, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. That we Son with whom you are blessed 
together with your awfully good and life-giving spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. for you. 
for the remission of sin. Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. We offer you your own from what is your own in all and for the sake of all. We Francis, Pope of Rome, his beatitude, our holy patriarch Joseph, our father and Bishop Nicholas, preserve them as blessings over your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, long life, rightly dispensing the word of your truth. And for the archimandrite, mark you all for these holy gifts, for the salvation and divine protection of our government, for the salvation and health of the people here present, and for all those whom each of us has in mind, and for all men and women. Remember all men and women. And grant that with one mouth and one heart we may glorify and extol your most noble and magnificent name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with your spirit. Now that we have remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for unity of faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit. And let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ God. To you. dare with inner confidence and without condemnation to call you Father, O God of heaven, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come.
kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace to all and to your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To and love for mankind of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed together with your awfully good and life-giving Spirit both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us attend Holy gifts for Oh.
worship your might, lift up our thoughts towards heaven, and raise up our minds from earthly cares to yourself. For you have lifted up our lowly nature in yourself, and enthroned it in the highest with the Father. Make us worthy here on earth as in heaven to be concerned with seeking that which is on high, where you are seated at the right hand of God. We await your glorious and awesome coming, which you have made known through the angels to the apostles, the witnesses of your ascension into heaven. Number us with those who will be taken up into the clouds to meet you when you come to judge the world in righteousness, that with them we may be filled with joy forever, by the goodwill and love of mankind of your eternal Father, with whom you are blessed and glorified, together with your all-holy good and life-creating Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. grace and love for mankind at all times, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory be to you. ascended into heaven and sat down at the right hand of the Father. May he have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his spotless and all pure mother, through the intercession of the precious and life-giving cross of the holy prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the incorporeal powers of heaven, the all praise with the apostles, our God-bearing fathers and of the triumphant martyrs of our fathers among the saints, the wonder workers, Nicholas, Archbishop of Mira and Lysia, Spiridon, Bishop of Trimuthan, of our father John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the saints whose memory we keep today, the holy apostles, Carpus and Alpheus of the Seventy, the holy martyrs of Bacchus and Helen, children of the apostle Alpheus, of the great martyr George, and of all the saints whose memory we keep today, and of all the saints. May this same Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us, for he is a gracious God and loves mankind. Amen. Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us.
Son of God. 